Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on the next gadget, personal space heater. Stay tuned for more details. Today I'm going to be reviewing the next gadget personal space heater. It can be obtained from Amazon.com and you will find an affiliate link down below in which you can click on and go check it out for yourself. I ordered this heater through Amazon.com and it came in good packaging. Oh, sorry, wrong picture. Again, I ordered again with the wrong picture. I don't know what's going on here. Um, I ordered the heater and it came in a great box. Everything was fine. My only concern was the way it was packaged inside the box itself. Now, when I removed the box, you can see the crease on the side here. That was my only major concern. Here's another close-up of the box where it got crushed a little bit. It might have been done in the factory. But it came with an instructional manual, and it also came with a little place card that tells you how you could get a free gift if you visit their website. It also comes with an instruction manual, as you can see here. Now what I like about this is it's very small and compact. It's a little over 8 inches tall. So what we're going to do is get into the nitty gritty of this. We're going to power this on and we're going to see what it can do. Now when you first push the power button on you're going to see a blue LED and it's going to be highlighted by the blue arrow as you can see here. That lets you know that it's in cooling mode. Now to those of you that want the technical aspects of it, while it's in cooling mode it only draws 2.7 watts. So now we're going to get into the heating aspect of it. We're going to push the mode button. And when we do that, you're going to see the LED light turn a light red, as you can see here, highlighted by the blue arrow once again. Now when it's in low heating mode, it draws approximately 643 watts. Now we're going to try this on the high setting, and we're going to push the mode button again. And what that's going to do is make the red LED light get even brighter. As you can see here, highlighted by the blue arrow again. Now when this is running on high, it draws approximately 758 watts. Now the cool thing about this, it does have an oscillate function. You just have to push the swing button. Once you push the oscillate button, as seen here, the unit will move back and forth. One thing that's important to note, when you power this off, the fan may continue running until the unit cools down, and then it will shut itself off. The other good thing about this, it does have a tilt switch built into the bottom of it, so if it's not on a level surface, or it's tilted to the side, the unit will shut off automatically. Now I have a lot of heaters in my home. Uh, I don't use them that much, but a problem with these heaters is they've got controls that screw up quite frequently and it's easy to bump or jar them. Now if you go over to the bigger ones like this, they have a tilt built into them, but they don't have a high-low function. They're just full power and that's all they are. Now sure, you can go to your big box stores and you can buy these heaters as you can see here and they're big they're bulky they come with remote controls and all the fancy gadgets and gizmos and really they're inefficient a lot of them i was very pleased with the heat output on this unit it actually put out over 300 degrees i'm very pleased with the purchase and i do plan on buying another one one thing i like about these is you can place them on top of your desk or under the desk and they're extremely portable as always, we welcome any comments or suggestions, and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.